Hello everyone, this is Tara from The Sicker Garden. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you all the beautiful stickers that have arrived in the mail over the past month. This shop is Lexi Kylie Designs. This is a new to me shop, my first time ordering, and I'm super excited. I recently watched a, well, actually not recently, it was a couple weeks ago, but Tattoo Teacher Plans, she does these functional setups in her plum paper planner, and I was so, so inspired by her. Um, she uses Lexi Kylie Designs a lot, so I had to place an order. I, the cello is super cute. Um, it has a little sticker here. Hello, gorgeous. I have arrived. I didn't want to take it out of the cello so I could show you that. So I didn't order a lot, but let's see. Let me just make sure. Okay, sorry about that. There was a code on the back of this um, that I don't want to reveal just in case it's specific to orders only, but it does come with this. Actually, this is really cute. I like it. <laughs> it's a little business card that says, let that shit go with the butterflies. Love it. I'm actually going to put it right here. That needs to be like on my desk. So when I'm stressed, I see that. <laughs> okay. Um, so it did come with a couple of freebies here. So this is the April freebie. Um, it has the script in April. This is actually on transparent matte paper. Yes, it is. So it is on transparent matte paper. Um, you have Easter Sunday as a script, some raindrops and umbrella. That bunny is super cute. Um, and then the blue watercolor swatch. You also received, or I also received a minimal sampler, which is really cute because I feel like I'm going to be using these types of icons in my plum paper planner. So these are perfect. I really like the um, to do note appointment and bill circles, the task and work. And again, this is on transparent matte paper. So many freebies. I wonder if I ordered during a sale. I don't think I did. Um, but I also received this freebie, the brush script font freebie. So it has the months January through December, again, on transparent matte paper. So what I did actually purchase was the minim minimal icons for weather. I thought it would be fun. So what I've been doing is I've been sitting down every Sunday night and planning my week ahead and I've been writing the highs and the lows and the temps for the week. So I thought it would be cute just to add some weather icons up in the corner. Sorry if you can hear my puppy. She's having a rough day. So she is in the office with me. <laughs> um, so I thought these would be super cute. They are on transparent matte paper. So I got the rainy weather icons. I've mentioned it before. I absolutely love marking rain and thunderstorms in my planners. The sun icon and snow. All right. Sorry about that. Clearly, I was annoying my dog simply by talking. So <laughs> I had to let her out of the office. Um, all right. So I purchased the Zest journaling, journaling collection. I saw her post this on her Instagram and I fell in love with the orange and the reds. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this pattern here. The oranges. I feel like I'm going to use this in June. So the, uh, the journaling sheets, I believe you can purchase either one or both. Like you can order one or the other or you can order both. So I purchased both. So you get some large deco pieces here. Oh, and you can also purchase this on transparent matte. Um, I did purchase it on premium matte though. Um, I love these little quotes. Make today a good day. Hello summer. Sunshine state of mind. You get several washi strips of different sizes. Watercolor swatches. I love these florals. Like look how pretty that is. And the oranges with the stems, I absolutely love it. I think this is so, so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. On the second page, you do have your Monday through Sunday day covers here and a this week script. 
you have um, just journaling elements like of the crinkled paper, the post-it note, washi strips, and then my favorite, the torn paper. You get so many little torn paper strips. I'm so excited about that. I just like love the colors in this collection. The colors is like, it's definitely what drew me in. She also had a weekly collection that matched this theme, the zest. So I did purchase two deco add-ons um, that went with the weekly collection. So you have some floral bouquets here. You have a beach flat leg, which is absolutely adorable. I love that. Um, and the, the basket, the beach bag, the oranges, some single elements, and then that book with the little orange and the leaf is so cute. I'm so not in frame. Sorry, guys. So excited to use this collection. I absolutely love the oranges and the reds. Super excited. Um, quality is great, and I will definitely be purchasing from Lexi Kylie Designs again. The shop is Sterling and in Ink. She released extras from her March subscription collection, and I had to pick some up. Again, I'm going to be mostly utilizing these in my functional plum paper planner, but after receiving my April subscription box, I really feel like these could go well into a memory spread as well. You do receive um, a journaling card. It's very, it's like that very soft premium cardstock paper comparable to Paper Trail Plans and the Pretty Pink Co. And it just has all of her information on the back. This is the freebie that I received with my order. Very cute journaling elements you have. I think this is just a box as opposed to like a cutout watch. Yeah, so you just have a box here, um, a stamp, which is really cute. That envelope with the florals is so pretty some teacups and then you have some circles with some floral elements and these these are really tiny oh, um i mentioned this and when i opened up the april subscription box i think i might layer these underneath date dots i think that would look really cute but there's only six of them on here with this subscription box i got more like i had a whole sheet of these but these would look cute under icons too so we'll see all right, so these are the floral arrangement stickers on premium matte paper. You do have multiple options for your paper choice when you order. Um, I don't think you have an option for glossy, but I know you do have an option for transparent matte or premium matte. I don't know why, but I'm so scared to order transparent matte with like floral pieces. I just got to just do it. I just got to order one sheet of florals on transparent mat to see how I like it. Um, but I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I got to step outside my comfort zone for sure. So I ordered two floral arrangement stickers. These are absolutely gorgeous. They are so pretty. You have your individual floral elements well as well scattered throughout the page. But these big, large floral pieces are so beautiful. I don't know what type of flower they are. I probably should know. My dad, his whole backyard is a garden. Fruits, vegetables, flowers. I should know this stuff. Hopefully he's not watching. If you are dad, I'm sorry. I have no idea what kind of florals these are. <laughs> And then I also ordered the floral elements in premium matte. I ordered two sheets of these. So pretty. I love the colors, how you have the very light pinks, white, but then you have the puffs of blues and orange. Super, super pretty. Then I ordered the fo foiled large icon stickers. I did get them in silver foil. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't think I don't think you had an option for your foil color, but I might totally be lying to you. Uh, definitely check out the website. But she does offer when she brings the subscription to the shop the month after. Um, she does offer the three different 
colorway. So this would be like the light or the white colorway, the pink, and then the blue. So I did purchase all three. The pink is really pretty. Let's, we'll go over with the pink. This is really pretty, like the wax seal. And then you have the floral envelope, the stamp, so many layering pieces here. So let me, so that is like kiss cut. This floral arrangement is so beautiful. Love that. The teacup with the florals in it. You know what this is reminding me of? I'm not going to show it, but I just filmed the Sadie Stickers February Mystery Collection. And I feel like a lot of these elements would go perfect with that collection. I'm not going to spoil anything in case you haven't received yours. But that video should have gone live before this. Um, but a lot of these elements I feel like would go perfect in that collection. Then lastly, I ordered the large pattern stickers in all three colors. Again, the blue, the pink, and the white colorway. And this is in silver foil. I'll show you the blue. So this is one large sticker here. This is really pretty. I'm so excited to start using these. The layering and the shapes and the florals, they're just so breathtaking. I, I can't wait to start using them in my plum paper planner and my memory planner. And then this is kind of like a washi strip. And then you have individual floral pieces as well. So that is my order from Sterling and Ink. All these pieces, even though they were a part of the March 2022 subscription kit that she has she does bring all the pieces from her subscription kit to her website the following month so all these are still available for purchase if you're interested this shop is a not new to me shop but it's been a while since i've ordered it is nicole hutch design it's a super small order but i did still want to haul it because i really enjoy the stickers that i bought um, I did receive this freebie. It feels like it's on matte paper. Um, has some icons here. And then this is one big script icon or one big script with the book icon. Reading time. I didn't mean for that to come off the paper. Um, currently reading. Read. You have a heart with headphones and some books. You have her business card. Super cute. And then another business card. So text the word stickers to receive alerts for promos and new releases. That's actually really cool. I like that. That's a good idea. You have a little journaling card just on cardstock. It says, don't wait for the perfect moment. Take a moment and make it perfect. I'm going to just like add all my little journaling cards right up against my window there. <laughs> all right. So I've been ordering these transparent matte dots for my functional planner. I do color code everything in my planner. So in the, like the monthly section, I mark the days that I work because I don't have a consistent schedule um, in this green color. So I just place them right over the dates. And then my oldest has a lot of appointments that I need to keep track of. So I mark dates with his appointments with these. Let me take out my plum paper planner real quick so I can show you like the size. Um, let's see, April, I know I've already done. So this, so these are from Nicole Hutch Designs. These are actually, I bought these about two years ago. I bought tons of them. So this color, like the green, this is obviously darker. Let me grab my tweezers this. So I can show you like comparison. So that would be like the difference in color. I don't think she has the dark green anymore in her shop. Um, it's only like the pastel colors, but so this is how they fit on the page. This is my plum paper planner. It just goes over the date dots or the date numbers. 
So that is my smell order from Nicole Hutch Designs. I really love using these little dots. I find them super functional and they fit perfect in my plum paper planner. All right, and that is my order from Nicole Hutch Designs. I am so, so excited to announce I am on the Sadie Stickers PR team. Oh my goodness, I... I'm totally geeking out, totally fangirling. I am so, so excited and so, so thankful. I have been purchasing Sadie stickers for ever since I started planning. Like, I can't remember a time where I didn't buy Sadie stickers. So when she reached out and asked me to be on her PR team, I freaked out. I <laughs> I am still like, pinch me, is this real? <laughs> I know I'm sounding like a complete dork, but it's just such an honor to be associated with such an amazing high quality shop and I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and control my dorkiness right now, but a part of me is like, whatever, I'm a dork. <laughs> All right, so, so exciting. Um, so my freebie is on gold transparent matte paper. You can use the code Terra20 to save you 20% off your order. And then if you put my name in the notes to seller, you do receive my foiled freebie. Last summer, Alicia and I did do a collab and the, um, the thick lace washi and the half lace washi were a part of that collab. So I thought it'd be really cool to add some of those designs on my freebie. The thick lace washi is kiss cut. And then this is the half. So literally it's just the thick lace washi cut in half. And that's kiss cut as well. On my freebie, you also receive the double line divider. This is the foliage date topper from her fall collection like this past fall. You get a variation of butterflies, so you get some butterfly clusters and then some individual butterflies. I thought that would be really fun for not only spring, but for summer as well. And then, of course, the little bee that I'm obsessed with, which is in this order, so um, I'll be showing you that. And then the meadow cluster here. And if you look, let me see if I can get you really up close. I don't know if my camera is focusing. But in the middle of that design, it's like two little animals. And then this little guy right here has a butterfly on his nose. I don't know if it's like capturing on camera, but it's really cute and it makes my heart so happy. And I'm so excited to be on the PR team. I am so, 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 so grateful, super excited. All right. so. I have multiple orders that I've just combined into one just to make it easier. Some of these are a part of uh, PR credit. I just want to be transparent on that. So I did pick up the Butterfly Trail Deco in gold and rose gold. Most of the foiling in this stack right here, so this is all like the $2 Tuesday stuff I ordered, is in gold and rose gold because none of my spring kits are in silver. So this is the Butterfly Trail Deco. Completely obsessed with these. I really appreciate how Alicia did have the butterflies stationing in the opposite direction and the little trail is so adorable. I also picked up the grass divider in gold and rose gold. I thought these were super unique. Absolutely loved that idea. And then the bees. All right. I have <laughs> this weird obsession with the bees. <laughs> I don't even like bees. Um, super quick, funny story, but my dad and my grandfather, they pet bees. So they garden my dad has this like amazing garden and so did my grandfather and they like pet bees and they had me do it a couple times and it was really scary but I did it and I don't know it, bees aren't my favorite but these bee trail deco they're my favorite and I'm obsessed I'm beyond obsessed so I did order two sheets in the gold and the rose gold 
she just actually brought back this design for bring back the favorites and i'm pretty sure i bought more um i don't know if i just have like uh, it's just so, so many great memories of my grandfather in his garden, him teaching me how to pet bees. <laughs> um, so maybe that's why I'm very fond of these, but I'm very excited to pull these into my spread. The Meadow One dividers. Well, they're not really dividers. They're more like deco pieces. Let me see if I can find... Can you like see that the two little animals like in the center there and the one with the butterfly and it says I love it that makes my heart so happy um so I did purchase those in gold and rose gold and then the flourish number three I did purchase in all three metals and these are like the perfect size too they're really small and dainty the flourish one in rose gold silver and gold The Lavender Cluster Deco in gold, in rose gold. Sadie Stickers, her $2 Tuesday with the Cluster Deco she has been coming out with. Absolutely amazing, amazing. Again, I actually think I bought more of these as well during the Bring Back the Faves. I've come to realize that I have now in my memory spreads, I've just been filling up white space with the cluster decos and they are the perfect size, the perfect design. I love how not all of the clusters are the same shape. So it's really fun to kind of see which one will fit where. Super, super cute, great design idea. Definitely my one of my favorite elements of her $2 Tuesdays. I purchased the Tulip Cluster Deco in rose gold and gold. The uh, Poppy Cluster Deco. The Poppy Date Toppers. So not only do I use these for date toppers, but I also like to incorporate these throughout my spread. So they are labeled as date toppers, but they're definitely multifunctional. Oh, this is kind of like a little strand there. Super pretty. The tulip date toppers. These are super cute. The lavender date toppers. And then I got a whole bunch of butterflies. So I got the vertical butterfly corners. I actually think... I'm pretty sure she came out with these last year and I have some left over, but not a lot. So I wanted to get more. And these are super kiss cut. So when you do peel them up, just, I don't even know if I want to, but I want to show you guys. So like the butterfly, that bottom butterfly is kiss cut. So just be careful when you're pulling it up that you don't tear too hard or you're going to tear off that little butterfly. And then the horizontal butterfly corners. Again, I bought these last year and the horizontal corners, I used up all of them. The butterfly vertical divider number one. I did not purchase these last year, so I'm excited that I decided to go for it this year. The butterfly lace trim. Oh, I ordered two. Okay, I'm actually gonna show you the gold because it looks like I've been, I think I've been showing you a lot of the rose gold. So let me show you the gold. So if you look, I'm trying to get a good foil shot. So in the lace, there are butterflies. So like there's a butterfly and there's a butterfly. These are super pretty. And then the rose gold. Butterfly Deco. I went through these super quick last year. <laughs> like I think I got like two weeks into my spread and I ran out of these because they are so cute. And then the Butterfly Cluster Deco. Again, let me just move these around so you can see the gold because I feel like the rose gold has been on top. 
Again, you get the various cluster designs, which I really appreciate. You even get a couple of individual, right? Is that? Yeah, you get a couple of the individual butterflies too, which is fun. And the assorted butterfly deco. I went through these, again, so fast last year, so I wanted to stock up. So pretty. All right, so that was all my $2 Tuesday orders that have come in over the month. So now let's move on to the collections. And I also have some monthlies that I purchased as well. This collection is entitled Grow absolutely beautiful and it's funny i purchased this because usually i'm not drawn to green collections but there's something about this collection that i absolutely fell in love with it reminds me a lot of rachel from gathered plans because she really gravitates towards these very natural green um, earthy tones so you do receive nine full boxes can we just take a moment and look at this bathroom scene like gorgeous like why can't my bathroom look like that i wish but my dogs would probably eat like all the plants <laughs> um you have your floral boxes here and it is foiled and this is it doesn't look like her matte gold but it is gold foiling and the florals are um accented with the uh, gold foil you have your fashion flat lay with the foil leaves the quote box in the middle says grow positive thoughts which is so cute you have your shelf with all the plants and you have some foil plant accents here another bench with florals with another plant accent and look how cute the cat is Ooh. i'm not really a cat person but that cat is really cute <laughs> And I like the hanging um, lights too. That's a very cute accent. Super pretty. I'm really torn on when I'm going to use this collection. My thought is the last week of May. Because for some reason, the florals in this collection, I think summer. But this fashion flat lay is definitely winter because you have like your jeans, the sweater, so I don't know. I don't like to leave any box out. So your second page here, you have your half scallops, you have your um, half size boxes. And then as usual, as you go down the page, the boxes do decrease in size in width, which I really love. Each of these boxes or some of these boxes, um, they're not square cut. That, like this one has a scallop edge. Um, this box right here is notched. I always have such a hard time. There we go. That's notch. I absolutely love that. Um, this guy right here, that scalloped. And once again, the perfect touch of foiling with a perfect amount of clip art in the box. Absolutely perfect. Your third page here, you do have your confetti dot headers. You have your floral headers and your simple line divide, um, divider headers your Monday through Sunday box, your bow checklist, your Monday through Sunday habit trackers, lots of layering elements, flags, um, boxes. Again, these are notched, so not all of them are a simple box. You have circles, arrows, some scallops to layer with here. And then on the bottom, you have your bow checklist. This does actually kind of look like her matte foiling. Now that, like on this page, I can see it. So this is the gold matte foiling. Oh, look at this bottom watchy. I love it. I'm just going to stare at it for a second because it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I love the double line um, thin strip, then the florals on the bottom. That's so pretty. Let me, where's the full boxes page? Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I just want to use it now. Maybe I'll lay down the vase now for the end of May and then I'll go back and I'll, I'll memory plan it. That's so pretty, you guys. I'm so excited to use this collection. Okay, so um, you have your Monday through Sunday date covers. You have some more boxes. 
these um these shapes are here are actually individual so you have scallop headers and then you have these little line divider headers so that's really fun oh i love these colors i love the greens with the tans it's just so pretty so this is the journaling add-on page. I love the torn paper elements. These are always my favorite. Whenever I purchase a collection from Sadie Stickers, I look forward to see what she does with these two elements right here. They're always different in every collection. I do have another collection, but we'll go over that in a minute. Um, they always change. So it's really fun to see how she incorporates the florals into the shapes. Um, you have multiple strips of washi circles. I absolutely love the window frames. This page is not foiled, so I don't know why I'm moving it like it is. <laughs> um, I love the plant elements. That's really pretty. I did purchase the functional add-on sheet. You have some boxes with the florals designed on them. I just don't want to rip it. scallop shapes, watercolor strips here. And then I did purchase the floral add-ons. These are so pretty. So, so pretty. So on each sheet, you do get individual floral elements, which I really appreciate. And then you also receive multiple bouquets in different shapes and sizes. So pretty. This is an absolute gorgeous collection. So excited to use it. I kind of just want to lay down the base now because I'm that excited. <laughs> this next collection, Alicia was so sweet and so kind and she actually sent this to me. I am so excited because this collection is absolutely beautiful. So I've seen a lot of Easter collections being released and they've all kind of had you know, the bright pastel, bright color theme, but I am obsessed with this, with this Easter collection because of the light colors. Absolutely stunning. It is in silver foiling here. Um, the quote box in the middle says baked daily cottontail baking co chocolate bunny peeps and cream eggs. All right. So I have to say this. <laughs> I love peeps. I love peeps even more when they're stale. <laughs> so I know that's a very unpopular opinion, <laughs> but leave a comment below on your opinion of peeps. I personally love them, especially when they're stale. All right, moving on. <laughs> um, so this the full box down here is absolutely sunny, stunning with the um, top view of the bunny. You have a foiled carrot and then the floral bouquet has some sprinkled foil confetti. You have an Easter basket, again, with that sprinkled foil confetti in the basket. And it looks like a, there's like a little floral coming out of the cake. The floral bouquets are absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited. I actually just memory planned a spread using a Miss, uh, Miss and Mail collection that had the same florals. And I have a lot of florals left over. So that's exciting that I can pull those in. So you have your floral bouquets in the bottom here. And then up top, this is really unique and super cute, very creative. Um, you have the floral branch with the Easter eggs dangling off of them. That is so cute. And then the Easter egg flat lay. You have a nest with a little foiled bird. And then the Easter cake with the bunny ears coming out. And then this little cake has that foiled confetti. Super cute. And then you have your um, labels on the bottom here. I will go through this collection just a little bit faster because I already went in depth with the Grow collection previously. Here is your full boxes page. Absolutely love the color scheme of this collection again. Then you have your headers, your boxes, and your layering elements. Super pretty. Oh, I love this design here. 
that's so pretty. So the bottom washi, the background is the wood grain, and then you have these really pretty blue florals. Your Monday through Sunday day covers, some extra boxes. Well, let's see the full boxes with the washi together. So pretty. I never would have thought to put blues with silver foil in an Easter kit. Like my mind always goes to these bright pastel colors for Easter, but I absolutely adore this color scheme. Like this is beautiful to me. Like the color scheme is just perfect. Alicia also included two sheets of the floral deco, which I am so, so grateful for. Alicia, if you're watching, thank you so much. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. And that is the Cottontail collection. Again, absolutely beautiful. Foiling is perfect. Super excited to use this collection. I picked up the Little Things deco pieces. So she released her advent um, calendar box um, where you could buy elements of her advent calendar in like separate and individual listings. So I absolutely love these florals. They are perfect for spring and even summer really. So I did not pick up the collection itself, but um, like the Little Things collection, but I did just pick up the florals because I think they are so pretty and they can really go with any springtime um, and summer collection. So I purchased three. So last but definitely not least, I have two monthly collections um, that I did pick up from Sadie Stickers. I use her monthly collections in all my monthly spreads. They are absolute perfection. So this is this is the matte gold foiling. She does have a new gold foil that's light gold, and I'm super excited to see it. Um, it actually should arrive tomorrow. So that will probably be in my next haul. But so this is the March collection. It's that matte gold foiling. Super pretty. I absolutely love the hummingbirds. So cute. Oh, and then you have a little foil butterfly. That's really pretty. Your second page, um, you have some floral boxes. Um, this page I absolutely love. It's the perfect combinations of the different sizes. So this box right here, this will take up one whole day in the monthly section. And then you just have some individual labels here as well. Some watercolor swatches. I do use my monthly section kind of like has like a journaling like memory keeping spread, I guess that's what you would call it. So I don't use the functional add-on. I always select the decorative add-on, but there is a functional add-on if that's how you utilize your monthly spreads. This is stunning. It's so pretty. You have the little butterfly right there. You have multiple layering elements, your date dots, and then these, I love these. I always try to find ways to incorporate these thin washi strips in my spread. I know a lot of people use these to mark like an extended period of time, like if they go on vacation or if there is an event that extends over a couple period of days, which that's how I usually use them too. But I do like to find new ways to use them. Haven't, haven't really been doing much lately. <laughs> so I don't really have like... Well, I could mark not doing anything, but um, yeah, I haven't really gone on vacation <laughs> lately. Um, so I've, it, it's been fun finding new ways to use these little thin washi strips. They're really pretty too. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this journaling page is. So I forgot to mention it in the Cottontail collection, but again, um, when I was going over the Grow collection, this is what I was talking about, how every um, collection she has, she changes up these shapes. So there's shapes in every journaling page, but they're different with the florals and the design. And I love that. These birds are really pretty. Oh my God, you're like super close. Sorry. <laughs> um, you have your torn pages stickers here, all of your watercolor swatches and elements, your shapes, the window frame and the little stamp, which is really cute. 
And then I did pick up the March 2022 deco add-on page. These deco pieces are really big, but if I don't have a lot to mark in my monthly spread, I will pull these in. Pulling in that umbrella is going to be really cute too. Okay, I just had the best idea. So how cute would this be if you pulled in this umbrella and had like the Sadie Stickers floral clusters like falling from the umbrella so it looked like it was raining florals like how cute would that be that'd be super cute um I think I might pull this in if I don't use all of this in my memory um or my March memory spread I'm going to pull in these elements into my plum paper functional spread the March 2022 um you have your Monday through Sunday uh day covers payday day off appointments um, your March holidays, my birthday, happy birthday, uh, this month, next month, and then some labels. Uh, these would be really cute if you use the functional add-on. Um, but even if you don't, you could incorporate that too into your monthly spread. And this is on transparent matte paper. She does offer a matching weekly collection that matches the monthly and I usually always pick up the matching floral deco that it's a it really goes with the weekly collection but I like to incorporate the florals into my monthly spread so I picked up two of those so that is the March 2022 monthly collection and this is April so April is my birthday. My birthday is April 3rd. It's coming up. Oh, I'm going to be 36. It's happening. <laughs> anyway, moving on from age. Um, I was really happy to see an April collection that didn't have to do with the rain every year. Um, you know, it's fine. Whatever. You know, April showers bring me flowers. I get it. Um, but I was really excited that... Um, the April monthly collection this year um, didn't have to do with rain. <laughs> um, so it is in rose gold foiling. You have the, oh, you guys, I'm, the, 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 the Sakura. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't talk. I, I can't talk. But it is Sakura, Sakura themed. I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm so, so sorry. Um, absolutely stunning. I loved the scattered. I love the scattered. I actually think they're hearts. Yeah. I don't know. They're petals. At first I thought they were hearts. Then I thought they were confetti foiling, but I'm pretty sure those are petals, which is stunning. Amazing. Super pretty. I love the boat with the sun. So again, you have your um, boxes to take up the days. Um, absolutely love the color scheme. That green is gorgeous. I love that pop of green. Again, I did purchase the deco sidebar option as opposed to the functional. This page is so pretty. So this is the deco page. I did not purchase the journaling add-on for this collection, but um, these, it, it's beautiful. Look at this tree. I'm so excited to pull these trees into this. Actually, everything on this sheet, I'm excited to pull into my monthly spread with the boat with the mountain. I'm pretty sure this supposed to be a sign, but it might be a moon. Regardless, super cute. Cannot wait to pull all of these elements into my April spread. Here is your April 2022 functional add-on. No, it's not an add-on. It does come with the collection on transparent matte paper. You have all your April holidays, Monday through Sunday, payday, day off appointment, uh, bill due this week or this month, next month, and then just some functional headers if you use those scripts that way. And then um, she, as always, like I just mentioned, she did kind of come out with a matching weekly collection. So I did purchase the floral add-on so I can incorporate just some added florals into my monthly. 
This is the functional add-on page. I really love purchasing these. The watercolor like boxes with the florals on top or to the side. I absolutely love it. I love pulling those in. So that is the April 2022 collection. Those are my multiple orders from Sadie Stickers. I'm obsessed with everything and I'm so excited I'm on her PR team. Again, here is my freebie. Mention Terra 20 at checkout to save 20% and then put my name in the notes to seller if you would like to receive my freebie. This shop is White Deer Stationery. This is the freebie that I received. Her freebies are so perfect. They are so functional. Um, I absolutely love her freebies. Um, it does say sticker sampler number 25. I don't know if all of them say 25. I should probably look at my collection to see if the numbers change. They probably do though. Anyway, um, on this um, freebie, you receive the grocery bag, a little grocery cart, the pen, uh, the cup with the pens, which I've been using a lot, um, a heart chocolate box. Oh no, so that's actually a ring box. The laptop, a birthday or a cupcake with a little candle, the sale tag, which is super cute, coffee, and a little post-it. I did repurchase my, uh, excuse me, her clock icons. I don't know what where my mind has gone, but I have been misplacing my stickers and it's so frustrating and the clock icons were one of the sticker sheets that I misplaced. I actually use these a lot to mark if I am late, if I stay late at work or if I get out on time at work. Um, and just as I started using these, I misplaced the sheet and I haven't found it yet. It's probably in some random category in my sticker box, like under summer or something, like something totally random that I just wasn't paying attention when I put it away. Um, but I'm really happy that I, um, that this came in super excited to start using those. And can we just for these snowmen, like, look how cute that's adorable, adorable, like I mean, it's the middle of March now, but if it snows again, I'm going to build a snowman just so I can use one of these stickers. However, this would be super cute to mark to on a cold day. So I am still behind in my memory keeping and I still have a couple of fall spreads that I need to memory plan for. So I did purchase the Hayride stickers. Again, this was the sheet that I've already purchased and I misplaced. So super excited to receive this again. The piping bag. This was released around the holidays, but I waited too long to place my order and they quickly sold out. So I'm excited to receive this bag. Um, I did purchase the shampoo and conditioner. Not really sure why, but they're super cute. Oh, I could mark, I use these to mark um, giving my dog a bath. That might work. And then last but definitely not least, I got the breakfast tray just, you know, just to mark maybe like having um, breakfast with my parents, making breakfast with my kids. Just, I like to buy multiple icons from White Deer Stationery to mark the same thing. That way it doesn't get too repetitive in my spreads. So that is my order from White Deer Stationery. This shop is the Pretty Pink Co. We received this super nice journaling card. It's that very soft card stock that is very similar, like I mentioned earlier, to Sterling Ink and Paper Trail Plants. And just has her super pretty logo on the back there. And then this is super exciting. And this whole thing is just super cute, tell you the truth. Save the date, the prettypinko.com website launch on the 18th, which is this Thursday. So I actually think this haul will be going live um, the Monday after the website launches. So definitely check out the website. Super excited to um, be able to shop through the Pretty Pinko through Shopify. She does have a cute little scan me. Um, was that a QR co code? Yes, a QR code um, that will bring you to the website. Super cute. I'm very excited about this order. So 
I've been holding off on buying these like washi strips. Um, I just placed a big order with Sadie Sticker so I can start my collection up, but I've been holding off on buying them. I'm not really sure why. I think I was a little intimidated by them at first, but now I'm like super, super excited to start incorporating them into my spreads. So when I saw that the Pretty Pink Co. came out with some spring themed um, washi strips, I wanted to buy some. So I purchased the Spring Fields washi and you do get four strips and they are kiss cut rose gold and light gold and this is on transparent matte paper oh so pretty this is so creative i am so excited to use these into uh, to incorporate these into my spreads it looks like i got two of the light gold and then i got rose gold I am really, really excited to use these. I will definitely be using them like on the bottom, maybe on top of the washi that comes in whatever collection I incorporated into. But these are just so pretty and so creative. I'm super excited about them. This may be a little bit out of order. Oh, okay. I should probably start with the freebie, right? Um, so this is the freebie that I received. It is on transparent matte paper in rose gold. You have individual hearts, some heart dividers, an XOXO script, which is super cute, super functional. And I would, um, I will definitely be using elements from this freebie into my spread. Um, I also purchased the mini floral trims in light gold in rose gold. These would look really cute on top of date covers like super cute because they're small enough that it will fit so like you you won't have to cut them up i also purchased the floral dividers in rose gold and light gold and then the spring fields in gold in or light gold and rose gold And that is my order from the Pretty Pink Co. Make sure to check out her new Shopify date as it will would have already been launched on the 18th. Super exciting and congratulations on the new website. So fun. This shop is Letters to Apollo. I did put Francesca's name in the notes to seller and received her gorgeous freebie. It is silver foiled on premium matte paper. What drew me to Francesca's freebie was this beautiful lace divider headers. Absolutely stunning, so pretty. You also get some floral elements and then a little simple outline box. Love that. So I purchased a collection and then I think this was part of a $2 Tuesday. These bunnies <laughs> are so so cute so this was a part of an easter themed two dollar tuesday or it might have been a spring themed so not only did i purchase these to mark some events um, some easter related events but also i'm going to incorporate these into my spring spreads so it is on transparent matte paper and i purchased them in gold in rose gold and i just want to show you all the designs I'm a huge animal lover if you haven't picked up on that. <laughs> so I absolutely love the animal deco pieces. You get multiple designs, which I love. And then they do go in various directions as well, which I really, really appreciate. I get so <laughs> bummed out when I find the perfect icon, but that icon is facing the wrong direction. Like it's not a big deal. Like I'll still use it, but I really appreciate it when shops have their icons facing in two directions. And then I also picked up the floral bunny in light gold and rose gold. And I'll just show you a close up of the different designs. And again, you get them in the two directions. I don't know if I'm in frame. There we go. And again, that's on transparent matte paper. Those are so cute. 
So, so cute. All right, this is the collection that I purchased all the things. What drew me to this collection was that bright, bright pink floral. Like my pink soul right now is so happy just looking at this. <laughs> so you do receive nine full boxes. The quote box says you kind of owe it to yourself to do all the things you've dreamed. You have your fashion flat lay and how cute are the canvas sneakers? Like, can we just appreciate that? Well, first let me get you in frame. <laughs> I love that. I love the sneakers. Um, you have your four floral boxes, which are accented in gold foil. That floral element is really pretty. And I really like the how she foiled the leaves coming off of this bouquet. Your lower box here, you have the foil de mirror. It's kind of like a makeup scene with a floral. Oh, that's actually not foiled. Oh, I just noticed that. So it looks like these were supposed to, these two little leaves were supposed to be foiled. So I'll reach out to her, no big deal. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be foiled. Um, so the mirror is foiled and then the perfume bottle is foiled. And then this box down here, you have the scooter. This is really, really pretty. Not only do I love this watercolor sky background, but look how pretty with the little stardust is going in the corner there. And then on your on the bottom here, you do have some boxes. It looks like the majority of them are square cut, but then you have one that is not. Here, let me... So you have a notched box right here. Super pretty. So that is the full box page. The second page you have a kiss cut date header uh, day covers, which I really, really love. Again, that bright, bright pink. My pink soul is so happy. <laughs> um, you have your Monday through Sunday box, your heart checklist your Monday through Sunday date trackers, some bow checklists here, lots and lots of um, layering elements. So you have scallop shapes and then half scallop shapes up here. On the bottom here, you have two window frame shapes and then some boxes. And this is, this is a really fun shape right here. How that's notched, really pretty. This is your full bo your um, boxes page. So you have some even more layering shapes up top. They, uh, you have your half boxes and as you go down the page, they do get smaller in size, but the width does stay the same. So it does look like they're all the width of the column. You do have a couple of the boxes that are notched. Oop, not that guy. This guy is scalloped though. So you have a scallop there, and then this guy right here, he's notched. So you have your notch right there. Really like this page. I like the two variations of pink and then that green tone color. This is also, in my opinion, the perfect balance of having plain boxes with foil boxes and then boxes with clip art. Perfect, perfect balance. Love it. Here is your header page. I really like her confetti uh, foiling. So you have your confetti headers, your floral headers, and then your line headers. So with her line headers, you the first strip is thick and then that bottom line is thin. The bottom washi is super, super pretty. Let's see it with the full boxes. That's stunning. When I think of a pink girly collection, this is what I think of. It's that bright Barbie pink with all the girly elements. I love it. Super pretty. Um, so then you have headers on um, this week, errands, meals, and important. 
I haven't had such a girly collection like this in a while now that I'm thinking of it. All my other collections are very like pastel, watercolor, like light, airy. This to me is like Barbie, girly, pink. <laughs> I'm excited to use it. It's, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> um, so I did purchase her floral add-ons. Since I purchased this, this has changed. Her floral add-ons now include um, the Kiss Cut uh, floral washi strips. So if you go to her shop, her newer collections, um, the floral add-ons are a little different now. But a, I, so I purchased this sheet. You have your half bouquets here with some floral bouquets of various shapes and sizes, which I really appreciate. And then I did purchase three of the add-on floral bouquets. Super pretty. So that is my order from Letters to Apollo. I am going to reach out to Jess, the shop owner from Letters to Apollo, and just let her know that, you know, I had a box that wasn't foiled, but... I'm not going to ask for a replacement because I can just foil that myself. Like I have gold foiling. I have a mink machine, so I can just foil that myself. But just in case, just so she knows in case maybe it was like a batch that went out or just this individual sheet, but there's no need for her to send me another whole sheet just because that one box isn't foiled. I can just foil that myself. So super excited to use this collection. Um, and that is, oh, we can't forget the bunnies. Hold on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and that is my order from Letters to Apollo. This shop is Paper Trail Plans. This is actually two separate purchases. One, I actually already filmed a like a haul clip, and then for some reason, like the file was corrupted or I don't, I don't know. I went to go download it and it wouldn't download. So unfortunately, this is out of the envelope. But I did purchase more add-ons to go with this collection. And it just arrived today, so I was super excited. Um, but anyway, um, so this is the beautiful packaging. I do PR for Paper Trail Plans. My code is Tara15 to save you 15% off your purchase. With all orders, you do get a shop freebie. So no worries if you don't mention my name in the notes to seller. Um, the PR girls don't have individual PR, um, PR sheets. Is that the word? I'm drawing a blank. Um, but um, you can use Terra 15 to save 15% off your order. Beautiful packaging as always. I am so not creative and I wish I could find a way to repurpose these beautiful um, butterflies. Maybe I will put them in my plum planner. Maybe that's what I'll do. Or I can use them as like photo props for my Instagram pictures. Anyway, super pretty. Um, they are also very forward thinking and they never seal their envelopes so you can repurchase or repurpose the envelope okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of go through this like a little backwards so oh one second sorry i have like a monitor up so i can make sure i'm in frame and then my screen just went blank okay um, so let's go over the freebie first and we'll, we're going to do it like this. Okay. So this is the freebie that I received in my order. Um, Paper Trail Plans has some of the best freebies, if not the best freebie. I really appreciate that with every season they change and you have a script like, so this, I think I purchased this last month so it came with the March script and Hello Spring. I absolutely love that. I think that is genius. Perfect, perfect freebie. Um, this one I'm really impressed with. I absolutely love these little dot dividers or headers or dividers. We're going to call them dividers. Those are stunning. Like I need those now. <laughs> Um, so you have your scripts that correlate to the month and the season that you purchase in. Um, I did receive the dot headers and multiple floral bouquets in single floral elements and then some diamond clusters too. 
And this does look like it's on uh, foiled in light gold on transparent matte paper. So this is the collection that I purchased. It's stunning. It's beautiful. I'm actually going to use this for the week of my birthday. It's not birthday themed, but I feel like since I'm turning 36, like it's kind of sad that, <laughs> that, I'm like, that I'm turning 36. So I didn't want a birthday collection. <laughs> so this, I saw this collection and for some reason, I was like, I need this. I need this for the week of my birthday. And you know what? I just realized um, the Hummingbird clip art, Alicia from Sadie's Stickers used that in her April, no, her March monthly collection. Oh, that would have been perfect if it was used in the April, right? But anyway, okay, I'm getting off subject. Um, I'm so excited about this collection. This is actually the first collection I purchased from Paper Trail Plans absolutely beautiful. You do receive your nine full boxes. It is foiled in light gold foiling. The quote box says there is no other time quite like spring with promise alive in everything. But that beautiful, beautiful hummingbird clip art. Um, the tail of the bird has some diamond scattered foiling, which is genius. So creative. You do receive four floral boxes accented in uh, foil. This one's really pretty with the florals and the watercolor design underneath. This window scene is so unique and so creative. I love it. I love that they decided to foil uh, the curtains in foil. Super pretty. This scene on the bottom is gorgeous. You have your watercolor scene, the tree with the foiled swing, the fence with the hat, so cute. And then you have this really pretty floral element piece um, in front of the fence, which is gorgeous. You have a gardening scene with a bucket. The florals in the bucket are accented in foil and the little gardening shovel. And then this box here, you have an apron with that hat that's in the um, the um, scene here, excuse me. And then you have some boots that are foiled. On the bottom here, you do have some labels and up top, you have some foiled flag elements. The second page here, very unique. Um, you don't see a lot of shops who format their boxes page like this, but in the center here, you do have some florals. This is a really good idea for individuals who plan, who aren't crazy about florals, but want some florals, but don't wanna purchase a floral add-on. Um, so that's really creative. I like how they did that. You have some half boxes on the bottom here, and as you go up, they do decrease in size and width. And again, another shop that does the perfect balance between um, patterned boxes, plain boxes, and foil boxes. Very much appreciate that. Um, some of the boxes have that really pretty butterfly design with the diamond like trail coming out. This so so pretty. Your third page here, you have headers. So you have that diamond confetti pattern that's foiled, your floral headers, and then um, you have bow headers. Starting from the top of the page, you have watercolor swatches, some smaller um, arrows, flags, some designs. I love that she put, or they, this is a mom and daughter shop, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, which is just so adorable and so cute. I love it. I absolutely love um, the three window frames there. And then another thing I'm super, super excited about it are these are like the little tiny simple line headers and you get so much. So you get one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You get 15 of these, which is awesome. Um, and then your Monday through Sunday habit trackers. Her layout is very unique. I don't know of any other shop that has this layout. 
All right. Sorry for the, the sniffles there. My allergies are horrible. Um, so I did purchase two deco sheet add-ons. Again, another shop that just does an amazing job with uh, the floral add-ons. I really appreciate it when shops use the whole entire page and fill up as much space as possible. Really, really appreciate that. Um, you get multiple bouquets in various shapes and sizes. You get your individual floral elements. And then you get some deco pieces, which is really cool. So you have the hat, the hummingbird, um, and then the bucket of florals. Super, super cool, cool, super pretty. I really appreciate the layout. So I originally, this is what I originally bought. Um, so we'll go through the journaling pages next, but she did have two options of washi that you could choose from. I did end up purchasing the second option, but, um, and this was the option I originally went with. So these are, and like I said, I already hauled this. So this is kind of off the page, but it didn't come like that. Like I already went through it and then I had a hard time getting the sticker down, back down. Okay. So up top here, you have these really thin header, header pieces. And like I said, that did come like, correctly on the page I've just I've already hauled it so um your thin strip of washi is that really pretty floral pattern that's um on one of your full boxes and then the patterned florals is the thicker washi that's stunning that is so pretty I cannot wait to use this collection sorry I'm not even laying it flat <laughs> there we go super pretty um, so you do have your Monday through Sunday date covers. They are squared. They are not kiss cut. You have some circles, flags, and then this is really cute. Um, it is a full box with that floral bucket with the little shovel, but instead of, um, you know, like Monday through Sunday or bows, they are butterflies. That is super cute. So I did purchase the Meadow Dividers as well to go with this collection. The Meadow Dividers is the same um, floral, like the same uh, deco, like this, <laughs> what am I trying to say? The same design as the full boxes and the washi. And it's on transparent matte paper and like gold foiling. I also purchased this in rose gold, but I, I don't know where I put it. I mean, like my mind is just all over the place lately. And I, I have to put away stickers right away or I misplace things. So I am going to have to go back to the shop to repurchase these in rose gold because they're so pretty. But that's fine because then I'll purchase some of these uh, dot headers as well. So when I originally bought this collection, I was hesitant um, to hop on the Kiss Cut Flora Washi Train. And then I ended up having a collection um, from Sadie Stickers that I paired Kiss Cut Flora Washi from Paper Trail Plans with. That's actually, um, I actually did film that. So check out my plan, plan with me's if you want to see that. And I fell in love with it. So I went back to the shop because... They also offer journaling pages that match this collection. And on the journaling pages, you have the Kiss Cut Washi. Like the Kiss Cut Floral Washi. So that is perfect. I should probably get in frame. Super pretty. I, I love Kiss Cut Floral Washi now. Absolutely love it. I need all my collections to have Kiss Cut Floral Washi. Just throwing that out in the universe. <laughs> Um, so this is journaling page number one with the journaling pages, you do get the kiss cut date covers. So if you're not a fan of the box date covers, pick, definitely pick up the journaling page because the journaling page just have the kiss cut version, which is perfect. And of course, clipboards, I just need all the floral clipboards, two little bees, um, is the first shop that comes to mind that always has the clipboards. Um, so I'm super excited that Paper Trail Plans now offers them on her journaling pages. 
Um, you get some more floral um, window frames, uh, which I'm really excited about. Um, some layering shapes, and these little washi shapes are really cute too. This is the journaling page number two. Um, super cute. You have the window scene, another bucket with floral. So it's very similar to the deco add-on um, that you can buy separately, except I would say the journaling pages, you do um, receive more half bouquet florals and the deco pieces are, I would say larger, not by much, but, but they are larger. So that is my order from Paper Trail Plans. Again, I do have a coupon code. It is Terra15 to save you 15% off your order. Super excited to use this collection the week of my birthday. This shop is Two Little Bees. I always put Lauren's name from Plan, uh, Plan Moche Plans in the notes to seller. I adore her freebies. Um, they are perfect. This is foiled in rose gold foiling. You receive two half floral bouquets, perfect for date toppers, um, or just to put throughout your spread. These butterflies are really, really pretty. Um, coffee cup, a planner, my favorite clipboard with the bow and the floral bouquet some fancy boxes um, and a floral bouquet. Her freebies usually match um, a two little bees collection and I'm so sorry but I don't know what collection this matches. Maybe the rainy days collection. I, I want to say it's the rainy days collection but I might be lying. Um, and then Maria also always, in, always includes a little doily which is so cute. So I was super excited to see that Maria brought back the Wildflower collection. I passed on it last year. I don't know why. Don't know why. <laughs> when I did, I immediately regretted it. I was so bummed out. So when I found out that she was bringing it back to the shop, I literally went on as soon as the website opened and purchased it. Um, so you have your nine full boxes. On the bottom here, this is a full strip of washi okay sorry um you have a washi strip of bows and that's the full length of the page there sorry about that um the quilt box in the middle says you belong among the wildflowers you have several full boxes that are um the wildflower um uh, florals um, this one's accented with her signature bow and then in all of her collection she always has a corner of scallop which is absolutely stunning. This little travel scene here is super super cute with the dandelion with the blowing um, blowing seeds. I want that outfit like the little romper that's so cute. Um, you have a bicycle with a floral bouquet with the foil butterflies, the fashion flat lay with a floral bouquet, and then the little beach bag or purse with the shoes. So cute. I absolutely love the color scheme and the florals are beautiful. The second page here, you have her signature bow pattern headers. The floral headers. What's really unique about Two Little Bees is her floral headers. It's not just one big bouquet. Each like header has different bouquets on them, if that makes sense. Um, and then the simple line headers. Your Monday through Sunday box, habit trackers, arrows, your bow flags. This is so cute. The little box with the paper clip, so cute. Um, some corner scallops here that are foiled and then deco pieces and then the weekend banner and that's really cute too. It's a little wildflower script. Super pretty. You have your boxes page here. Up top you have your flags, some fancy boxes, the clipboard, absolutely love, some icons. Oh, and then you also have a little piece of torn washi. What I really appreciate about Maria's collections is that they change so much and it's always little things that change. So it's always fun to go through her collections because you never know what's going to be new. Um, 
she's great with staying on top of trends too. And I think that's why she changes it so much. So her collections are always current, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. Um, you have a little floral bouquet here. You have your half boxes and they do de decrease in size, but not width. These guys, however, are smaller and they are not going to take up the full width of the column. So you could, you have a variation, um, a good variation of both. Your Monday through Sunday day covers. These are Kiss Cut, which I absolutely love. I love this week headers. Love it. I, I, I wish all shops had a this week header. Um, and then this full box here is always my favorite, the clipboard with the butterflies. Um, you have a window frame here with a foiled uh, floral bouquet and then another fancy box. The bottom washi is so cute. Um, you have the thinner strip is a single foil line. And then the thicker strip, you have clip art, which I don't usually see a lot anymore. Usually it's a full uh, floral pattern. So that's really fun. Um, and then you have our signature bow. We will do the full boxes. That's so cute. I'm so in love. It's kind of hard to see on my screen. I know it's like cut off, but so pretty. So, so cute. Um, so I did purchase, let me, how is this? One second. Okay. I'm just going to move because that's like a separate thing. Um, so I did purchase a lot of the wildflower journaling pages and separate add-ons because I do want to use some of the wildflower collection in my plum paper. So I did purchase two sheets of the wildflower deco, one for the collection and then one to use in my plum planner. And you know what I just noticed? Cause it's not in the full box, but the suitcase scene. So in this one, you have half the suitcase, right? Like in your full box. But if you look on the other side, that's so cute. It's like a little sleep mask. That's super cute. I just, <laughs> I just noticed that. That's really cute. Um, you have your fashion elements. Again, that's like the cutest outfit in the world. Super cute. I wish I had that outfit. <laughs> um, so I purchased two deco sheets. And then I think I purchased four. Yeah. Uh, floor, four floral add-on sheets. Um, I'll probably end up using three in my memory spread and then one possibly in my plum paper, or I might just use all four in my memory spread. We'll see. But this is really pretty, super cute. Um, this is the functional page here. This actually goes with the collection. I'm so sorry. It's everything's a little bit out of order. Um, but I really appreciate how Two Little Beads adds this little corner of the small deco pieces. They're really great if you wanted to add on to the boxes. So you, like you see how you have like these empty boxes here. They're the perfect size to just throw on one of those floral elements. I also really like to use these on top of my date covers because they're small enough or layered behind an icon. Um, you have your scallop shapes here, your half scallops, your, uh, half floral bouquets, which I love, absolutely love that she includes these, um, some more layering shapes, some boxes, and then some scallop labels. I also purchased the wildflower journaling kit, not only to use in my plum paper, but to also incorporate into my memory spread. So you do receive two of these really thick pieces of washi, um, which uh, can easily be cut down to a size um, that you prefer, or you can use them as is. Love the extra quilt box. You belong among the wildflowers. You have some really cute circles and then circles with um, some of the floral and clip art elements, um, bouquets, washi strips, the window frames, the stamps, Another cute little quote you belong, um, quote box you belong among the wildflowers. It's really little, which is that's going to be fun to pull in. And then a bouquet down here. This sheet you have a lot of the torn washi elements that I love. 
Um, I actually just used, um, I'm actually in the process of filming a plan with me right now. And I've been pulling these in to my memory spreads and I love it. I love finding ways to incorporate journaling elements into my memory spread. Um, keeps it interesting, fun, new, super fun. Um, and I really love these two. Just something unique to throw into, you know, you can use them for journaling, of course, but super unique to find new ways to incorporate um, just different shapes into your memory spread. So that is the Wildflower Collection. Um, during this release, she also re-released the Rainy Days Collection. And I'm pretty sure, where's Lauren's freebie? Right here. So... Yeah, this definitely, so Lauren's freebie matches the Rainy Day collection. We'll move this out of frame here. So, I only purchased the journaling collection for Rainy Days. Um, I wanted to purchase, so, so, so this is me. <laughs> I didn't purchase the Rainy Days collection this year, but I bet you in like two weeks, I'm going to be so mad at myself that I didn't. And next year, if she re-releases it, I'm going to buy it right away. That's what's going to happen. I'm calling it right now. Um, so I did just purchase the journaling, uh, the journaling collection to use in my plum paper. Um, again, same format as the wildflower journaling pages. So I'll just go over it a little bit more quickly. The only thing that changes is the clip art. Um, I do really appreciate um, the butterflies. So, so pretty. The rain jacket. And again... Life isn't, um, this is the second journaling page. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. So you have your circles, your washi strips, the window frame, the thick washi strips, and then some deco. I really like that deco um, element, like the, the coat rack. That's really pretty. And then I also purchased the Rainy Days Deco add-on sheet to use in my plum paper. Again, love the coat rack. That fence, <laughs> the fence with the florals is so cute. And I absolutely love these butterflies. I am so happy she put a lot of them on this sheet too. Really excited to incorporate that into my plum planner. I am going to start, I'm, I am going to record on my YouTube channel, um, how I'm going to incorporate these journaling collections into my plum paper. I just haven't started doing that yet, but definitely stay tuned on my YouTube channel uh, for those. That is my order from Two Little Bees. That is everything for this haul video. Congratulations if you made it to the end. I think I've been filming now for two and a half hours. It's the longest I've ever filmed. Uh, my voice is about to go out. <laughs> so congratulations if you made it to the end of this video. I would love to know your thoughts, your opinions. Please comment down below. I would love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your support. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.